Hello, everyone, and today we have with us Ms. Ashri Gupta, and she's here to share some of her experiences with us. So before moving ahead with the interview, could you please tell us something about yourself? Okay, yeah. so hi, everyone. I'm Archi. Uh, I did my engineering from Bhopal from uh, Rajiv Gandhi University, and later I worked with two organizations. Um, so I started with, you know, doing internship in open text, uh, followed by a full-time job there. And later I moved to service now. Here I'm working currently. Okay. So could you please brief us about the company you're currently working with? Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm working with service now. Uh, it's a US based company uh, and they have, uh, the, hot, the headquarters is in uh, US and, uh, in India, we have offices in Hyderabad and Bangalore. So I work out of Hyderabad. And uh, about my work here is I work as a software engineer uh, and I am in financial vertical. So I work on banking related stuff. Okay. So how does your day look like? I mean, what are the roles and responsibilities that you have to fulfill in a day? Okay, so usually my day starts with a scrum call. Um, so we just update what we did yesterday and, you know, what is our plan today and if we are facing any problems, uh, which is followed by, you know, a normal just looking at our uh, sprint board and seeing what is pending on our plate and, you know, fixing bugs and all of those things. Okay. So during the recruitment period, how was the question and answer process handled at your company? Okay, yeah. Um, uh, so the interview was like, you know, it started with the coding assessment. So I got the coding assessment in my email and it was like, you know, easy to me medium difficulty level. And after that, I got, I got a call, which was after that, there were four to five round of interviews. I'm not sure of the numbers, but they all were based on DSA and algorithms and some design also so first three rounds were basically i mean they're uh, purely based on dsa and algo and later in the last two rounds i was asked a design and db related questions so yeah. as you know the skills are really very important in any of the profession so what are the basic skills that are required for your job profile okay um so in my job profile um the first thing that they see uh, which is uh, problem solving so people really have to good at it other than that design skills and you should be comfortable with computer fundamentals and also you should have you know in-depth knowledge of your past work whatever you have done so far and whatever you have written on your cv of course so all of those things are important okay so any resources or platforms that you want to mention for gaining the skills Mm -hmm, yeah um so for problem solving like if somebody is a complete newbie then i suggest to start with hacker rank and then followed by lead code it's a very good platform and if you're preparing for interview uh, it's uh it's the platform that you should go for and if you are in, still in college then you can go for competitive programming as well that also helps you know, improving your problem solving um, so these are the resources which i found to be most useful and whenever you are stuck you can go to youtube so there are a lot of you know people who are um, creating courses and all and for design and db i suggest you know just go through youtube and there are some famous books too so before moving at the end would you give us some of the tips or advices that you want to give us to our audiences who wants to join the same role as yours okay yeah sure um so I suggest, you know, when you're starting to prepare, uh, you know, just be consistent with the preparation. Uh, don't expect results too fast. So, you know, it happens like people um, face a lot of failures. So I, when I started job hunting, you know, I was getting problems and getting calls and even, you know, I was not able to clear, but it went on for some time, but then I started getting, you know, I started going forward and my interviews started getting clear and then in the end I got three or four offers and I, then I chose service now. So yeah, I would just suggest, you know, just be consistent because this problem solving, this is something which, you know, which, which takes some time and you have to be consistent and also, you know, try to cover everything. Just don't focus on one area. In, like just know everything that you have in your CV. Okay. So what has been your experience up to now working 
with this company and the experience of overall okay um so my experience is uh, great um, i love the people i work with everybody is uh, really helpful and you know um, very supportive uh, i joined in uh, in covid you know from remotely and i haven't been to my office but yeah i feel like i have met everyone already rather than this my company you know, really pampers their employees so i get a lot of goodies gifts and a lot of things <laughs> which keeps me exciting which keeps me excited so yeah like my experience is really great so far okay so thank you so much archie for joining with us today and it was amazing talking to you thank you for your time same here thank you calling me